Hello everyone, I am Jyotsna Gupta, Chief Editor of Y19. We are at the Digital Utilities India Summit at Delhi. Now we have with us Dr. Shivani Sharma. She is the Principal Technical Consultant, Power Consulting, Hitachi India, Hitachi Energy India Limited. Ma'am, you were recently nominated and selected as a finalist by Women in Tech Global Awards 2022. Please share your experience. Uh, thank you, Jyotsna. It was a, absolutely an honor and a very motivating experience, I would say. And uh, as Hitachi Energy, we believe a lot into diversity, into nurturing diverse kind of uh, resources, not only from the gender perspective, but also from different ethnicities, different cultural backgrounds, different educational degrees and so on. So it's, a, of course, very, uh, uh, you know, pleasant uh, feeling and very encouraging to be at such places where we need to see more role models and we need to make place for more shining stars to, you know, come and and uh, take the world over yeah congratulations for the award thank you uh, what do you think about the future of electric vehicles in india how does it add to the sustainability vision of our country so Jyotsna, if you say uh, India, we have taken a giant leap towards the energy transition and uh, electric vehicles is going to be one very important stream of segment where you would see more and more vehicles into the grid and when you see from the uh, power system or the grid integration perspective, the kind of revolution it will bring is very huge. You will have, you know, a, a very good load forecasting, hosting capacities. For the utilities, again, it becomes very important. How do you forecast the load? How do you manage these loads? And it's very d different from the conventional vehicles, like you would have to look into the fleet management. You would have to see if your uh, segment, the grid, is it ready to incorporate that much of load and the kind of uh, integration challenges that it would bring along. So, uh, you know, but yes, the careful grid integration and having a seamless perspective is very, very important in this case. And uh, do you think there will be many challenges in adoption across India because charging stations, what we are normally listening, like charging stations will be, infrastructure development will be required. So what are your thoughts on that? So uh, this is one of the, you know, most interesting uh, aspects where uh, it's an ongoing tug of war between different stakeholders. So one side you have the automobile manufacturers where uh, they may seek more clarity as far as the policy guidelines are concerned. One side you have the vendors, the manufacturers who would like to have the guidelines, who would like uh, to have people to go ahead and start using it. And then comes as the common citizens where, you know, as a citizen you have different anxieties. Say energy anxiety, do I get a charging station near me? The energy, the cost anxiety, how much is it going to cost? How much time I should wait and so on. So as we have more and more e-mobility, it's again very important to have more and more EV charging infrastructure around us, which is, you know, the roadmap is being laid and on the national level, on the uh, different industry level, we are working towards it and you would see it in phases like uh, you have highways, you have fast charging, you will have uh, slow charging, very slow charging, maybe at your own parking premises and so on. So these are the different um, uh, kind of charging infrastructure which will be available to uh, make you use more and more uh, EVs uh, as a whole. And I think this is a must <coughs> need if we wish to have a clean and greener country. Uh, definitely, definitely. That's one of the segments which has to be essentially captured. We are sitting in Delhi and we know the air quality index. In fact, I was just coughing. There's so much of pollution around. You can feel it, the climate change right on your face. So that again, uh, you know, is very important. So uh, what is Hitachi Energy 2030 plan? Can you please shed some light on that? So as an organization, we are very, very uh, committed and uh, serious towards the sustainability. We have our carbon neutrality plan defined by 2030, where we are trying to have technologies, pioneering dig digital solutions, which make the grid integration very seamless. We need to take into care all the important aspects, like, you know, as you keep on adding more and more renewable technologies, you have EVs, you have green hydrogen and so on. It's very important to also take care of the integration aspects of the operational aspects. So as a utility or as a user, 
It's very important to have the situational awareness as well as the operational confidence of uh, operating these different kind of technologies. And that's how uh, we as Hitachi Energy very optimistically look forward to a stronger, smarter and a greener grid. Before we wind up this session, I would like to know what is your experience of this digital utility in India? Are you enjoying? It was a pleasure being here and in fact uh, we had a panel discussion in the morning. Yes, it and was very uh, yes. We enjoyed. Everyone enjoyed it. <laughs> thank you, thank you for that. And it, it was, you know, all having all the relevant stakeholders where we are discussing all the critical topics live, talking to each other, what are the challenges and what could be certain future uh, potential solutions as well. So that's how, you know, as a fraternity of all the relevant stakeholders, we need to take the digital utility vision forward. And uh, my best wishes uh, to the event, to the organizers, and thank you for having me here. Thank you.